Can you tell me why this happened? You see this path right here in a different color? If you know, comment below. was about 16 years old I wanted to try I wanna I wish I had an athletic body and the reason for that is before 16 when I was 14 12 10 I always was the chubby kid on the classroom and that kind of um, threw me off a little bit for obvious reasons girls and when I turned 16 I entered the gym but as everything else regarding sports in my life, I never took it seriously. I have played all kinds of sports in my life. I did hockey, basketball, volleyball, soccer, gym, triathlon, running. And even though I enjoy doing it, I would set high expectations to myself, but I really never committed. And as I told you several times, I am an unpatient person by nature. And I think the biggest mistake or the biggest reason for me never succeeding in any of the sports that I did was that I always thought in short term results instead of long term. <laughs> And I believe that in my professional life I can apply the same principle. Meaning, I always wanted to get there. Fact. Doesn't matter what it means there. But the single, the single event that I'm most grateful for that I have achieved is to live here. And I came here professionally. That was a long-term decision with a short-term action. At that moment, I left my job to go to a smaller company with less pay. Because I believe in the idea that there I could achieve my lifetime goal to live outside Brazil and that what I think everything else in my life doesn't apply in that specific moment I had a long-term view with a short-term action and everything else I had a short-term expectation with an even short-term action plan what I'm trying to say is that for more times than I can count I try to achieve a health or fitness goal and that's the problem I always try with a long-term view and a short-term result expectation <laughs> this 30 days this 60 days that two weeks four weeks three weeks and then when I started applying the activities and I didn't see the result in the period of time that I wanted to ha to happen, I just quit. So I woke up in my mind with, I'm going to document my journey again. But I'm, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to try. I'm just going to live healthier and see what that uh, that reserves me. Are you ready? Let's go to Naples. Are you excited? Are you excited to go to Naples, Ronnie? Hey Brown, hey, hey, he's excited. Hey Brown, hey, 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 hey. Jump in. Today we're going to take Brownie for a road trip to Naples. It's first time in Naples. Are you excited, Brownie? You don't look excited. You got me tiptoeing around you like you made a glass. Got an invincible fence letting everyone know that you When I use my witchcraft You're playing it cool Bending all the rules Talking way too loud And you're talking rude You're playing a game Driving me insane Your heart is back And it's a fact No turning back 
We are finally in Naples and the reason that you don't have that we don't have a drone shot from the Everglades where we came it's because when it was when I was about to uh, fly my drone a US park ranger came and told me that I couldn't. He asked for my drone, he asked for my phone to see if I already did already have uh, flown the, 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 the drone before so yeah I couldn't find the drone but now we're trying to find a place to um, eat where brownie can come in. And we found a waterfront restaurant for brownie now we are going to have lunch and then we are going to um, downtown naples to take a walk with him and uh, in the middle of the afternoon we go back to miami at the Starbucks so Fernanda can eat her ice cream, I can eat my coffee and Brownie can rest a little bit because it's not easy to vlog with a 55 pound pooper pulling all the time. <laughs> <laughs> 